Greetings all, Van here for Aries' Weekend Message. Aries, if you would like to have a specific message or purchase some of my intention jewelry bracelets, you can visit my website right here. The first card that came out for you is the Magnetism Attraction card in reverse. And being paired with the voice, speak your truth coming out for you, or speaking your word. I knew I wasn't quite using the correct verbiage. There might be a disconnect on the energy that you are putting out in the world and what it is that you are wanting yourself. Because attraction and magnetism, every single day we are manifesting. Every single day we are attracting and bringing about the next phase of our life. Yet so many of us do it without noticing or really acknowledging that we do this. And we often manifest our own worst nightmares because we hyper fixate on everything that it is we don't want, on every bill that is coming up that we're dreading paying, on every date that goes horribly wrong, on every work meeting that doesn't go the way you wanted it to. You are manifesting and creating your own hell when all it is you focus on is everything that is going wrong and everything that you don't have. Now, I am not saying ignoring your problems and toxic positivity, but what I am saying is taking the moment to have and express gratitude for something that is going right for you right now can help bring you back from that lack mentality mindset. And that's why the speak your voice or speak your word came out because you have an incredible gift with your throat chakra here. It is blocked. It is not as bright and brilliant as it could be because you are not expressing your truth. You are not expressing the depth of yourself, of who you are. And there are a lot of reasons that that could be you're not sharing yourself. It could be you don't know that part of yourself. And you can only meet people as deeply as you've known yourself. I feel like it's been very rigid and structured what you've had to do with the outer core and fluidity in reverse coming out for you. But this is all the more reason for you to speak your voice, to share your words about what it is you want and what it is you don't want so that you can step into this life with more fluidity and more integrity and power is what I want to say. Yeah, you have a beginning coming, Aries. This is going to be a new opportunity in the East. Now, that might be very literal in that there is going to be some moving in the eastward direction or just invoking the elements and the energy of the East. Um, let me just double check. Yes, East is the direction of air. I have elemental markers in my room in the directions. So East is the elements of air and air can bring encouragement, inspiration, carrying the power of your words, carrying the power of your energy further than you thought possible. That's a great thing that we have with the age of the internet that we are in is that our words and information and energy can carry a lot further than our geographical location or limiting beliefs would allow us to believe it could go. Like, I am in the state of South Carolina. You, my love, could be in North Dakota. You could be in Germany. I don't really know where you are, but I do know that you are important and valid, and there is an important reason for you to share your experience, to share your word. Speak up! Like, seriously. This is why I love using multiple decks, is to have, is having the same message come up in a different deck. Speak up. You are... What are you not saying that's eating you up inside? You can't keep this in forever. It's time to let it out so you can move on and be happy. I feel like some of you have been biting your tongue because you didn't really know what you were moving forward on or you were afraid to move forward on something. You were afraid that something was um, going to be met with pushback or resistance or you were going to have rejection from, say, your family if you if you did not go with what they wanted to do, or even if you just wanted to do what you wanted to do. You have a line. You're being asked to align with your current situation, even if it is not easy to do so. There is so much that can be learned from being here. Pushing against what is will only make things harder for you. Align, surrender, and trust. And this is something that I'm having to remind myself, is that 
The changes that are occurring right now are occurring because you invited chaos into your life when you decided you wanted something different, when you decided you deserve something better. And chaos can only happen through change. <clears throat> so sorry, I had something in my throat. That was very uncomfortable. But <clears throat> the comfort card fell to the floor in the reverse position. And that's all the more reason that you need to align to this situation. Speak up about what it is you need because it's making you uncomfortable because you need to move. It's making you uncomfortable because you are no longer serving yourself in this situation. And you're probably too stubbornly hanging on to the ego of the present situation to allow yourself to move on. To allow yourself to step into this next phase or whatever is going on. You have slowed down, so there might be a lot of shifting and things going on. You might have been trying to expedite or hasten a, um, a reward or a result because you wanted the, the accolades or the comforts that came from them. But either way, Aries, there is a lot of need right now to ensure that what you are doing, you are doing for yourself. You are doing this so that you are happy. You are doing this so that you are developing. You are learning. You are healing. And there is a lot of things shifting with this situation. And it's always difficult to align, to surrender, and to let things come in and, and change. Because we automatically want to hang on to everything that we have because we don't think that we're going to have anything again. But that itself is the lack mentality that we started this talking about. I want you to try to have some flexibility right now because there is a lot shifting and a lot changing and you are an active part of what is coming into your life right now. So I want you to speak up to yourself and your higher self and your spirit team about what changes need to occur for this to be the next best phase of your life. Have a beautiful day Aries.